is in um, Sea of Monsters, Clarice is on a Confederate ship and Dior is a POC. So that just automatically feels like, how are they going to reconcile this? Um, but if they reconcile it any other way, I don't know that it would work as well for the story because, I mean, so I got a little intel from my brother on Confederate ships because um, he it's one of his special interests, you know, United States history, war history. And so um, the ships were wooden, but they had like iron pieces above the surface of the water. Um, and they had cannons, but the cannons weren't really even powerful enough for the ships to take out each other. Mm -hmm. And so it was, it was not very effective navally in that way. Um, and so if we were to go with some other ships from some other, you know, like lost war, um, my brother's first thought was World War II, but that's already too tied into the Percy Jackson lore for them to bring it in that way. And he also mentioned that the ships by World War II era might have been able to handle Charybdis better. Well, and, and it also has to be like American, um, I think. Like, I think the reason why he did that, what he did, with it being confederate ones is because this was an american ship that could just be there um where they were leaving in new york and so i can't think of another i mean there's other battles i suppose like you could go back to like the revolutionary war and make them british <laughs> yeah. um but other than somehow turning the whole confederate soldier thing on its head and like making them be their little bitches or something um i don't know unless they just completely change how if they can talk like they could just make it where they can't talk or communicate with them because <laughs> i mean there's one line in these chapters that's like oh they like annabeth because she's from virginia and i'm like well that's not gonna happen <laughs> so i don't know what they're gonna do with that because they don't like percy because he's from the north <laughs> yeah i guess yeah. they're not gonna like annabeth or clarice and so Maybe they're just going to make them like undead things that can't speak or can't talk or something like that. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. They're going to have to fiddle with that for sure. But I mean, I do think that, you know, like you said, if they make them very subservient, like they have to obey Clarice and maybe they're a little bit salty about it, but we can get some comedy about it. I feel like they can make that work. Um, I mean, the other Confederate thing that's co more contemporary is Twilight, <laughs> like, you know, where they have Jasper as the ex-Confederate leader, and they just never happen to mention that, it, like, other than to say, oh, he has a military background. Yep, like, yep, I used to, I used to really hate Black people. Um, <laughs> there's no, there's none of those people in, in this anyway, because this is based on Mormons, um, but it's just there and you're just like anyway moving on <laughs> yeah yeah and it's like no let's address this did you join because of where you lived and it was the thing to do did you join because there was pressure like there could have been ways to write it and still have it work of like oh he joined because there was immense pressure around him around men his age and then he he left the army and joins the vampires or whatever the heck you know they could have somehow worked it in, in a way where he could have been a Confederate leader and still been sympathetic for that reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm thinking if they make these soldiers ones that like, maybe they're salty about it, but maybe they're also salty about choosing the wrong side. Maybe we put wrong side jokes in there. <laughs> um, but then again, that also, I don't know, does Rick care about alienating that kind of audience? I don't think so. No. <laughs> like, he, I don't think it's possible for Rick Riordan to care less if racists are angry at him. Yeah, but I don't know that. I mean, does everybody that has the Confederate flag necessarily think of it as a racism thing, though? Because I feel like there's some that try to pretend it's a Southern heritage thing and that for them That's it's not connected. Them gaslighting themselves, but... They say that it's not a racist thing while also giving excuses about why they can stomp black people wherever they want to. So it's like, 
they just don't want to have to admit that they're showing a flag and that Southern pride is somehow connected to the idea that black people should be your slaves. Yeah. I don't know how else to put that, that you could think that Southern pride, that's not a good thing to admit about yourself that you see that as prideful, that you're proud of something like that. Um, you should be ashamed. <laughs> and so it's, yeah, he doesn't care about that. I think honestly, most of the show decisions would probably go along with like what do we we don't want to make our actors uncomfortable mm -hmm. and we don't want to make the audience who is watching this who love these actors because they look like them finally we don't want to make them uncomfortable either like everything rick riordan does is very much thinking about like kids who love him and how they, how they would feel about him and so whatever they decide to do with this, I think that's going to be the motivations of how they figure it out. I don't think he gives even like a quarter of a fuck about how like Southern pride, racist people, any hateful people at all would care about like what he what they think about him. Um, maybe Disney might. But yeah. Like they can art, they would have argued about that before they even start filming. So those arguments have already happened. <laughs> I'm sure that some of that happened, but Disney has like, has gone along with whatever he wanted for season one. Like one of the things I thought was funny, that article that I found about them talking about Medusa and that they wanted to bring in like the power differentials and take away like the the like misogynistic parts of that story and bring in the more like fem like feminist side of the story. And when they initially talked about that episode with Disney executives, Disney was like, oh, is this an episode where he's gonna learn to like his dad more? And Rick was, no, no, the opposite. <laughs> the actual is the opposite. And so they obviously went along with whatever he said. Um, so that would probably be the hardest part was to get Disney on board with whatever they decide to do because, you know, of how conservative of a company Disney is in general. But I also think that they have some leeway when it comes to that because of how successful they've been so far. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it'll be interesting to see if they take the risk. I mean, Dior hasn't said anything about the Confederate part specifically, but she did say she was excited about filming the boat scenes. Yeah, Definitely. she gets to, she, that whole sequence, I, the whole time that that sequence was going on, I, like, every time I read anything right now, I'm thinking about what is this going to look like on the show, but especially that entire sequence, I was like, how are they going to film any of this? Like, I was, like, picturing how they're going to do it because it's such, like, a huge thing, like, a huge sequence, tons of physical things happening, like, crazy things happening. Like that's definitely something that's going to probably have to be filmed on like their stage, like where they filmed the tunnel of love stuff, just like redone because yeah. I don't know how they could film them, like going around in a circle, being eaten by a giant mouth. Um, and then Percy like fling getting flung a hundred feet into the air and crashing into and crashing into the ocean and only surviving that because he's a Poseidon child <laughs> um, in the way that he does besides all the other stuff that's going on. <laughs> in that scene without it being something like that without yeah that's gonna be wild it's gonna be it would be really fun for her to film because she's bossing everybody around yeah and she's the one in charge until the ship loads up yeah. but way, that's definitely fun stuff for her to do